Hey guys, in this video today we're going to be painting Monster High Draculara, I think that's how you say her name, using my hella cute liner brush. I'm just going to be getting the head shape of her, which is like a sideways square rectangle shape. Then we're going to add a little chin down here with an upside down triangle and go ahead and fill all that in. Taking my shading gel, I like to use this product and it kind of poses as like a pencil, like a sketch. So we're going to be getting a little sketch outline of just placing down her eyebrows and kind of like laying down where her eyes are going to go. Her eye shape is very complicated, so make sure you pay attention to the angles that the eyes go. After I lay down where her eyes are going to go, I'm just going to go in with some pink jelly polish, talk to the hand. Uh, I kind of added some clear top coat in with this color just to lighten it a bit to get the eyeshadow. And then I'm going in with a new color called Call Me Later to do some little lines above the eyes. Filling it all in with my white liner gel and then I'm going in with Laffy Taffy Purple to do the inner circles of her eyes. And I am using my nine millimeter brush for this and now I'm taking the purple jelly and outlining the eyes. After I've outlined just the top part of the eyes, now we're gonna bold out her eyes using my favorite black liner gel, Baddest Black. If you guys don't know already, I own my own brand called nailsbydev.com and everything that I use in my videos you can find on my website. I will be listing all the products I use in this video in the description below. These eyes were giving me total Brad's vibes when I was painting them. I love doing her lashes. They came out so cute. Make sure that your lines for the eyes though get thinner on the bottom towards the inside of the eye and thicker on the outside. After adding the top lashes, you see me going in with some shorter lashes for the bottom. And then we're gonna just go ahead and outline the eye. After you finish that one, go ahead and do that same thing, trying to make them as even and as similar as possible to the other eye you did before. By the way, if you guys have any tutorial requests for me, let me know in the comments below. I don't know what it is, but something about painting lashes is just so satisfying. Make sure that they get thinner towards the outside of the lash and thicker towards the inside. Now for the eyebrows, I used a color that I have called Berry Babe and I mixed some black liner gel into that color and it made this like deep black purplish color which was perfect for her eyebrows. Next, we're gonna be filling in the pupil using the black liner gel. Make sure you're doing it about half the size of the purple you laid down before. Now I'm taking my white liner gel and using a nine millimeter brush, just doing some flicks in and adding the little glare in her eye. Now I gotta do the nose. It is super tiny and the inside of the nose lines up with the inside of the eyes. From there, we're gonna do the lips and these were so much fun. Little swirl towards the outside and just kind of mirror it on the other side. Now that we've outlined the mouth, go ahead and mark out where the teeth are gonna be going. After that, I'm taking the shade Call Me Later and filling in her lips. And using that same white liner gel, we're just gonna fill out her little vampire teeth. Now doing some very, very fine lines, we're gonna outline the teeth. Now I'm just gonna draw out where her bangs and her hair is going. Right above her head, you wanna do a long line, but you wanna leave this little gap for where her like little hair part is and outline the top of her head. Then go ahead and fill all that in. Now you want to do a nice crisp line to separate the head from the hair. Now we're just going to go ahead and add the black highlights in her hair. Thank you. 
now you see me just filling in that all for larger spaces you guys i like to use black gel polish instead of the liner gel now taking that liner gel i'm just going to go ahead and outline the top of her bangs fill in that little purple part right there where the part is and now we're going to do another part of her hair right up here and we're going to be doing the same little highlight situation that we did before on the bangs Now we're going to draw out where her ears are going on each side of her head. And after we've drawn out the ears, go ahead and fill in all this part right here with the black gel polish. Now we can go ahead and do a nice bold outline around her face. But her ears are not white, so go ahead and fill them in with that same purple you used for her face. And we're going to just add a little bit of hair right here down behind the ears. And of course, we have to add some detail in the ears as well, so go ahead and do that. And of course, she needs a neck, so now you see me just drawing out her little neck area and kind of... Just bolding it all out and then we're going to start on her outfit. Now her outfit is pretty complicated, but just watch, follow step by step and don't give up. I know it might look a little, little confusing, but if you just follow step by step, I promise you got this. Now that we have the outfit drawn out down here, go ahead and fill it in with that same pink gel that we use for the hair. And I'm using Gravedigger gel polish to fill in her arm over here. And I'm adding a little bit of the berry color down here on the other side of her body and adding some shading with that berry color as well. Moving on to her necklace, this might seem a little intimidating, but just trust me. Even if you just did a flower and a couple of dots, it would still look cute. So you can try this if you would like, and I think you should, because you're going to love how it comes out. After you've drawn out her necklace detail, grab your favorite background color and go ahead and fill in the background. I'm using Trollin Gel Polish. Now we're going to just add a little bit more details before we start some shading. Going to do these little stitches on her outfit. And we got to add two little gray buttons on her outfit and now we're going to do some shading. Now listen up. I used my shading gel, black, mixed with clear top coat and added a little bit of purple to get this shading color. And it was so perfect for shading on her face. I added it under her bangs, on her jawline, on her nose, under her lip. And then I went in right here with my black shading gel on her outfit. Now I mixed a little bit of white gel polish into the black to create these like highlights on her hair. And I did the same with the pink. I mixed white into the pink. 
just to give her hair some dimension. Now I'm using my highlight gel to add some highlight on her nose and outlining the buttons. And of course, we have to do her cute little paper clip. Wait, yeah, paper clip, right? Yeah, paper clip earrings with the molten metal gel paint. But you already know she wouldn't be complete without her iconic little heart on her face and added a little more shading under her chin and matte top coated it and you guys look at how cute this is i know that nail art can look intimidating but i hope that when i break this down it helps you guys just a little bit make sure you guys comment below which character you want to see me paint next give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more nail art tutorials and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys